Colors. Welcome to the world of colors. Today we're going to be making a gnome. It's a tall pilgrim gnome that it doesn't require you to put boots on. And it, her name is Betsy. She goes with the gnome that we made last Wednesday named Jacob. And they're both tall pilgrim gnomes. A different style than the other gnomes that we made. Or they're a little fancier, I think. And so we, we've already made Jacob last week, and this week we're going to make Betsy. And then that will finish up our Thanksgiving gnomes for this season, so for this year. Um, so it's what I want to do now is give you the materials list. And it's not too lengthy of a list for her, really. You want to start with the felts here. I have felt and fleece. Uh, the chocolate color felt is, you need a 10 inch by 12 inch piece for the skirt. Two six by seven pieces of the brown chocolate felt for the bell sleeves. You need one eight by 16 inch piece of the rusty brown felt for the top of her dress. And you need three seven by seven inch pieces of the tan felt for the nose and hands. And you need, for the in the fleece, you need an off-white fleece, one piece that's five inch by 11 inches for the apron, and two pieces that are six inch by five inch for the hat. You also need a off-white piece of fleece and one piece in a half an inch by 20 inches for the tie around her waist. And you need an off-white piece of fleece and one quarter inch by 14 inches for the hat trim. And then we're gonna go on to kneading the camel hair, fur for the hair that I'm using today is from Amazon and we're using a six by six inch piece that will make into two ponytails. We'll need a package of the two men's socks that come from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a package, size 6 through 12 in white. We'll need two of the 7-inch rollers that you get from Dollar Tree for the arms. You need to make up a little bouquet of flowers for her to hold. I wrap the bottom in jute. Got the flowers at the Dollar Tree. You need some jute for a few different areas, some flat marbles, and some rubber bands, and some polyester fiber fill. We're also going to be using some blush to blush out her nose, and some extra firm holding hairspray for her hair. This is how her hair looks in the back. So you definitely need the extra firm hairspray to make that happen. So that should be it beside your glue sticks and your glue gun and your scissors. And it would be really helpful if you had for this project these pink clips from the Dollar Tree. You get them six in a package for a dollar at Crafter's, the square, Crafter's square section. Um, and I use those a lot. so. For a dollar, they're a great investment. And that'll be it. So I'll clear this out of the way and I'll be right back with you and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is get the body ready. And it's a 12 inch body to make these tall pilgrims. And they end up being a 14 or 15 inch tall pilgrim once you add the hat piece. So what you want to do is take your a pair of those socks I told you that we'd need and go ahead and double them up. I like to double them up. It just makes a more substantial gnome. You can't see the marbles coming through the bottom and it just makes it nice. To double them up. So 
So you want to double up like that and then put the marbles in the bottom. And they're long socks like this. It's You can only get a few of the marbles in at a time. But you want to put your marbles in the bottom like that. And after we get the marbles in the bottom, we'll be stuffing it till the body reaches 12 inches and measure it and make sure it reaches 12 inches and then put your rubber band on to fasten it. So you just want to fill this, continue to fill this up with the marbles. This is what will make it stand up when you're finished. Get some weight in the bottom. And I think that's good. What I have in there now is plenty. About that much. You can see. And then I'm going to start putting my stuffing in there, my polyester fiber fill, uh, until I get it all the way up to 12 inches. And then I'll fasten it. So I'll be right back with you. So the body's done. It measures 12 inches. It just starts coming up into that ribbed part of the sock. Measures 12 inches. And we've got the uh, marbles in the bottom of it. Stands up good. And you want to cut the top of the sock up here. We don't want this whole thing. We want about an inch. So you want to cut that about an inch over, like that. And then we want to next put the skirt on, the, this part down here on the bottom is chocolate covered, double layered skirt. We're going to put that on next. So you need to get out your 10 by 16 inch piece of chocolate brown felt you want to lay the, lo the long way out it's a 10 by 12 inch piece I thought that looked kind of short 10 by 12 inch piece of chocolate brown that I told you about that at the beginning in the materials list. And then take that and lay the body right at the edge of the bottom of the felt. So you just want to put your body right on the, the edge of the felt like that. And then bring up a side of your felt like that. You've got the 12 inches going the long way and the 10 inches going up the body. And then you just want to, we're, we're not wanting to glue this down onto the body. We just want to glue the skirt around the body a little loose. Because we're going to fold the skirt down and make layers. So we don't want to glue it to the body. We just want to glue it on a little loose. That's what we're going to do. You start down here on the corner there to make sure you get that straight. And then we're just going to work our way up, staying off, staying up far enough that you're not on the body.
I need to let this set up a minute, so I'll be right back with you. So I've got the skirt set up. You can stand up the gnome now body, and it should look like this, and make sure that your hem is just how you want it to the bottom. It should be loose fitting like this. And what we want to do is fold this top down three and a half inches. So just measure three and a half inches. Give it an idea of how far you want to fold it down. And then fold it down to double up the skirt. It'll be pretty short on there, but the jacket, top jacket of the dress comes down over the top of this. So let's measure. I'm not quite three and a half inches yet. We want it to show. Here, like this one does. just another detail so let's see where we are here I'm making any progress here maybe just a little bit more and once you get it to that point You can just tack it on, making sure that you have uh, the, seat, the hem right at the bottom when you tack it down. We're just going to tack it loosely. A few spots. Now on, on the back of the skirt, tack it down where the top seam meets the bottom seam. So try to line those up as best you can. And tack it down. And then We'll go on to make the sleeves and the, arm, the arms and the sleeves. You want to take your second pair of white crew socks and lay your seven inch roller on them like that. And then we want to cut off right at the bottom of the seven inch roller. Now these we're going to save for another project. We won't be using them anymore in the project we're doing today. But we're going to use the tops of these socks for to make the arms. So let's just put some polyester fiber fill in these. I spread it out with my fingers after I put it in there to try to get it to lay flat. And you don't want to put too much in there. Just about like that. And then you just make a tunnel in the middle of the polyester fiber fill with your fingers. And put your roller in there. And 
gonna put a little bit more of the polyester on this end. And then you wanna grab two rubber bands and making sure that your roller is in there, coming up so you can see it. You wanna wrap, wrap your cuff this will be the end that we put the hand in. Pulling out the extra fiber fill. And then I'll push this down because I have to have enough room in here to put the hand. The glue glue the hand down in there. So now the end that fastens to the body is down here, the end part that we cut. So I want to do the same thing and wrap it up with a rubber band. Now that's how, see now it, it does bend and that's why we put the roller in there so that when we go to set it up at the end after we finished it and we want to add the flowers and the embellishments, we can just bend the arm and uh, it makes it a lot nicer than trying to glue it in place in the shape that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other arm and I'll be right back with you. So the next thing we want to do, the arms are finished. We want to add the bell sleeves and that's how they look on her once it's finished. They just kind of come out like she's wearing a cape. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take the two six inch by seven inch pieces of the chocolate brown felt. take them the seven inch long way and set the arm right on it like that with the uh, it should fit pretty evenly on there and we're going to just wrap the sleeve Concentrating pretty much on the end that goes onto the gnome where we're going to glue and leaving open the end where the hand's going to go. So it'll look like that. It's pretty simple to do. And you just want to rubber band it on right at the top where your other rubber band is. This is the part that we're going to glue on. like that. And so we'll do the same thing to the other one. Just lay that right on there. Put it like that. And this is the part that I glue on. So those are our bell sleeves. Now so what we have to do is make the hands and at the same time we'll make the nose. So we want to take out our three seven inch by seven inch pieces of tan felt. And we'll need three rubber bands. And we want to take the polyester fiber fill and get a big enough piece that is the size of what you feel like you want your nose to be and your hands to be. And just put it in the middle of the square 
like that. Push it up with your thumb. And then take your rubber band. Just wrap it around like that. Once you get it like that, you want to take and cut this extra off. do the other two this the hands the same way so I'll be doing the hands and I'll be right back with you okay so we've got the arms wrapped the arms made we've made the noses and the hands the nose and the hands and I'm gonna glue on the hands now I want to push that roller down a little bit farther Get that ready to glue the hand on. You just want to put some glue right on top of there. And all the way around. here and you want to lay this right down on top of the roller end and then wrap your cuff right around where you have the glue on the rubber band and just hold that in place for a couple minutes just hold that cuff right on the rubber band part and hold that in place. And I'm gonna do that to the other arm and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've got the hands glued on now. And the next thing I wanna do is take the jute and wrap it around where the rubber band is on the wrist and just wrap it around to cover up the rubber band. About three times around. And then bring it to the bottom. This opening will be the inside to opening towards the body. So bring it around to the bottom and clip it. And just glue it down with a little bit of glue. You want to do that to both wrists. We're trying to get the arms ready to get glued on. We got that one done, and I'll do this one real quick. One more time there. So those are ready to be glued on, but before I glue them on, I want to put the nose on. I've got the nose here, and I want to blush the nose out first. Take your uh, compact with some blush in it, and your blush brush, and just pink the nose a little bit, like that. And then you want to get your glue on the end of your nose, the top of the nose, I should say. 
and a little bit on the bottom like that and just lay it right on there and I need to hold this for a couple minutes so I'll be right back with you so we've got the arms ready to be glued on the nose is setting up it should be ready now for us to glue on our arms we've got them all rubber banded together and ready to go you want to go about halfway across the back with the arm so that you have room to put the other arm on there so we're going to put our glue right on top of the rubber, rubber band and then just lay it right on there with the opening to the bell sleeve to go towards the body and then like that if you can see that I've got to hold this for a couple minutes and I'll add the other arm on the other side and let the whole thing set up and I'll be right back with you. So what we want to do now is take our 8 inch by 16 inch piece of rusty color brown for the top of the dress. And I have mine folded right in half. Like that. And then fold it one more time over. Like that. And then what you want to do is cut a big enough piece, about a quarter size piece, circle out of the middle of that you end up with about this big half dollar maybe and you just want to take it up over the nose and over the back of the stub and the top of the arms bring it down over the bell sleeves and the arm like that Is what we're going to do is lay this down just making sure that it lines up really well it's pulled on to here how I want it corners are meeting together and then you want to take the little pink clips I told you about and clip the corners so they're nice and together straight and you want to, it takes about three clips to go up And you do both sides first to ensure that it's lined up right. And then you just want to glue it starting with the corner get your glue on that corner
Now make sure you don't glue the bell sleeve into it when you get up here to the top. Hold that bell sleeve back with your one finger. Like that, and then you do take it over and do the other side the same way. So I'll do this side and let it set up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, next we want to take the 5 inch by 11 inch piece of off-white fleece for the apron. I've got my clips all out and I'm ready to put the apron on. You want to fold that down as far as you'll want the, the uh, back of it to go in the back. We have it just underneath the hair. About like that. So let's measure roughly three inches. You want to fold down. Then once you fold that down, then you fold it back together like that and you want to cut enough of a circle for it to go around to go over the top of the nose and it'll fit like that And then it's what you want to do is turn the, the sleeves of the top of the dress, the seams, to the back with your hands. Have your apron like that. If you can see what I'm doing is these go to the back, what we just glued. We're going to take the tie and we're going to tie those to the back around the apron. You see how they are on this one. They're, they're tied to the back. So push them that way. We want to take our one half inch by 20 inch tie. I measured that long so we'd have plenty of room to make our little ball and then trim off the extra so it's just right. So you want to take that and find the center and then just lay it right in the middle of the apron like that and then hold those sides back I'll bring it around and show you Tie the bow there. And then I'll tack this down a little bit. I'm going to put the jute bow that we made. I made it at break, uh, one of our breaks out of some jute, just, just like you're tying a shoe. Put that on there, the top of the apron, like that. And then the next thing we want to do is her hair. What we're going to do for her hair is take the six by six inch piece of camel fur. I got this color, it's really a nice fur uh, on Amazon. Six by six inch piece. 
and you want to take it and fold it right in half the long way corners together and just cut it right in half like that what we're going to do is make two ponytails taking our glue and going in about a quarter to, to a half an inch and just start going down like that and we're just trying to roll this up Do it three times. And then one more time, about a quarter of an inch from the end, so it doesn't ooze out. like that. Now I'm going to do the other one and I'll be right back with you. So we've got the two ponytails made now. What we want to do is you want to take and put a rubber band around the middle. Like that, and then put one around the bottom. It'll be right on the end of where you can feel the fabric backing. Put it right on that edge. Okay, so then what we want to do with them is to glue them on, turn your gnome around to the back. And we're going to glue the ponytails on both, one on each side of that stub piece. I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to put the other one over here, and I'm going to have to hold them and let them set up, and then I'll be right back with you. So I've got the ponytails in the back. They're drying into place. This is not going to be ponytails when we're done. We're going to, it's going to be up in her hat, the hair, but um, this is what it looks like right now. There's the ponytails drying right there. While that's going on, we're going to make the hat. We're going to take the six, the two six by five inch pieces of off-white 
fleece. And lay it out in front of you with the six inches going across the top and the five inches going down the sides. Like that. And what you want to do is cut out the shape of her hat. So we're, we're going to cut out for going from the edge and just going up to the top of the hat in a curve. So you cut off a piece like that and just, if you want to, you can lay that right on the other side and use it as a pattern to cut out the other side. Like that. So now you have two of those pieces. And then what you want to do is round off the top like that and you can take and glue these together Just let that set up for a minute, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, we should be able to turn our hat the right side out now. We want to put a little polyester fiber fill in there. And then I want to turn up the edge of the hat like that and just tack it down at the seams. So the two seam, the bottom and the top seam are together. other side we're going to tack the sides and then the front and back bring it up like that fold it up like that about a quarter of an inch and just tack it up. I'm going to tuck that fiber fill up a little bit better. Make sure everything's glued down good.
and set this hat in place like this. We're going to glue the front and the two sides, but leave the back unglued because we have to put the hair up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the top of the nose. And hold that down good. And then do the sides. I'm gonna let that set up and I'll be right back with you. Now what I wanna do is take the one quarter inch by 14 inch piece of hat trim. And just tie it around this part of the hat. Bring it to the back. I just wanna tie it. We don't want to make a bow. Like that. And then just trim it. Leave it let it hang out a little bit. Not right to the knot. Like that. And a little bit of glue there. Put a little glue on the front of it. And then we're going to go right and work on that hair. This is the back of it, the hat, the front of the hat. So we're going to take these two ponytails that we made and we're going to glue them right inside the, the ends of the ponytails, right inside the, uh, the, the hat. So what we want to do is we want to take And get some glue on these. And glue that right up in there. I'll do this other one and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is how it looks once you get the ponytails glued in there with this camel fur. Um, what you want to do is take and get your hairspray going in this. And get all your loose ends sprayed up in there.
I'll probably play around with this a little bit. And it'll have several coats of hairspray holding it down. This is a different fur that I used on the first one. That, that's how, how uh, they look compared to each other. I'll just work on this one a little bit. On the sides. And I, when I was done with this one, I had, there's quite a bit of hairspray in there to have it stay nice and held down like that. So the next thing we want to do is put her bouquet. I made this with Dollar Tree flowers and then just wrapped it with the masking tape to hold it together long enough to get the jute on there. You just want to glue that in between her two hands, like we have this one. We'll have her holding it like this. I'm going to put the glue right on her hand on this side and bring that right over and put it on the bouquet. She's taking the flowers to the Thanksgiving table. We just need to set that set up and we'll be finished. I'm glad you came and joined us today. This is the last Thanksgiving project that I'm going to do for this year. And we'll be on to Christmas next week. But thanks for coming and joining us. If you like this video, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. There she is. All finished. I think she turned out really nice. And this is Jacob. And so now we have Jacob and Betsy. The two tall pilgrim gnomes. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day.